Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is your first time coming to my channel, I say hey, hi, and hello. You're more than welcome to stay, like, share, subscribe, dislike, call your friend, your sister, your mother, whatever you feel that your spirit is guiding you to do. I encourage you to do that, okay? I pray that you've meditated and you've sat with your higher self. So that when I pull these cards, you'll know what messages belong to you and what does not. Please do me a favor and yourself a favor and everybody else. Leave that information on the board for somebody else to take. Nine times out of ten, though, if you've come across my channel, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that Spirit does have a message here for you, okay? So let's get into the message. Um, I'm going to start this out by saying that karma has spent the block thrice times, as in three times, on two wheels since 222, two, two. okay? Why? Because these people know that there's a new world coming into order. What does that mean? That people are waking up in this age of Aquarius of which we are nowhere near being out of Aquarius, at least for another 20 years, okay? Needless to say, they're very angry. They know that a lot of these soul contracts cannot be put back together and justice is here and in the building. So let's get into the message. Divine ancestors of the highest white light, only of the highest white light, please protect me as I channel the energy for the collective, giving them energy about the karma that keeps spinning the block on two wheels. Karma is spinning the block so fast. You know how fast you got to be going to pivot yourself and balance yourself on two wheels and you're not on a bike? <laughs> this is karma. Karma's a Mack truck, okay? Show me what else I need to see here, Holy Spirit. Divine Ancestors, Archangel Raphael, please assist us with doing the healing work for those people that need healing through the message. Archangel Michael, Please defend us in battle against the wicked snares of Satan and anything that aligns itself with anything of the darkness. Okay? What is it that you want the collective to know, Archangel Michael, messengers of the Most High, source of all things, of the highest white light? What is it that you want the collective to know? Okay? So first things first. There's communication coming in. Spirit is instinctually saying that some of you have just blocked out all negativity, which is a wise thing to do, okay? You have the strength card here, Leo en energy. You could be seeing 888, the infinity symbol. You have the king of swords, which is sharp, intellectual, about their business, Gemini, Aquarius, and or Libra energy. And then you have the hanged man, Piscean energy, okay? And you have the three of wands. So what we're getting is we're getting collective energy, okay? The knight of pentacles. You have offers coming in. Good business deals. And you will be successful. I will be successful. You will be successful because we're, you're my soul tribe. Period. It's written. <laughs> it can't be rewritten, okay? It's already been stamped, signed, sealed, and delivered by the most high. The four of pentacles represents you being a little bit more conscious about your money. This also represents the energy of somebody trying to hold you back, which is insane at this point, because again, karma is spinning the block so quickly. Okay. Whenever your name is mentioned or somebody wants to uh, defame you, dethrone you, decrown you, demote you, which is absolutely impossible. Because they have to go to the most high to get permission and they can't even get the most high on the phone, the line, the email, and or the text message. Why? Because you are the magician. You're manifesting a wonderful, beautiful life. Everything is coming to you effortlessly. Okay? Very easy. Communication is coming in. Again, some of these people are unaware that they're blocked. So they're sending messages to you of which will never reach you. Honestly, it's a blessing in disguise. Move forward. Do not feed that energy. You have so many great things here that you could feed, okay? If you're feeling a little anxious or you feel like you are stuck in a habit of toxicity that you can't break, go meditate. Write yourself a letter. 
sing yourself a love song. Do something different other than what you've done in the past because these people cannot thrive and or exist and or energetically have any type of power to do anything unless you're the lifeline. Why? Because they're soulless. They need your life force. They need your life source. They need for you to feed them life. Show us what we need to see, Archangel Michael. Please grace us with your presence. Please and thank you. Source of all things, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Why? Because these people have betrayed you. Okay. Just imagine betrayal after betrayal after betrayal. Returning to sender. And now this is the state of karmic bill and karmic hell with the karmics. This is them. Sad, depressed. This energy has been coming out over and over and over. I've shuffled the cards, cleaned the cards, prayed over the cards, put a candle on the cards, <laughs> shut the door on the cards. This is the same consistent, dark, depressed energy. Okay. We're going to put them over there. Okay. And we're going to put you over here because honestly, they're not even in the same category as you. This is you with the victory. Okay. There's a huge spiritual battle going on in the spirit realm. What are they fighting for? Your soul, your path, your destiny, your purpose. Yes, for you. Your ancestors are fighting this hard for you. Give them their offerings. Give them their ashe. Okay? We have to show respect to them. The mindset of in remembrance of me, right? You know, you see that when you go into churches and they talk about remembering Jesus Christ. It's the same thing with your divine ancestors in remembrance of them. What are you doing to remember them? Are you lighting a candle? Are you, are you sitting with them daily? Are you asking them to choose your divine partner? Or are you still choosing somebody based off of your own selfish desires? Of which needs to be on a spiritual shelf. When you're working for the most high, you have to set yourself aside. I promise you, it's not hard to do when you love what you do. When you're walking in your purpose, you'll never walk a day to work. You'll never sit at work and want to be off. This is your purpose. It comes to you naturally, comes to you easily. And then the most high sends you a paycheck in the mail and says, thanks. Remember that lady I told you to pray for? You're like, oh yeah, I had so much fun doing that. I would have done that for free. The most high is like, I know. So here's $10 million <laughs> in your savings account, in one of your accounts. I'm going to send your soul tribe in celebration. People that are like you, so you don't always have to be on guard. That when they come in, you're going to see remnants of yourself and you'll help them along their path. Right? As high priestess, we should be on our face at the feet of those people that we're helping. You know why? Because we're in service and that's how you bless their path. You don't sit up high to look down low and say, oh, I'm the high priestess. I'm in the seat. Don't I look great in the seat? No, you have to come down on your face. You have to bless the paths of other people. You have to crown other people. <laughs> People who do hair, don't take what you do lightly. You're crowning people with energy when they're allowing you to touch an extension of their energy, okay? I used to do hair and I had a growing hand and people would sit in my chair and always fall asleep. That's when I realized, wow, I'm a healer. I just knew that I like to make people look beautiful. I love seeing people come in with their hair all messed up and then I just make it incredible the most high would work through my hands and then they put their earrings on and put their lipstick on and call me girl my husband loves my hair i loved it i enjoyed it i love being a cheerleader for people uh when they're feeling good like genuinely feeling good okay that was my purpose i didn't know i was crowning people i didn't know that i was touching an extension of their energy i know now when i look back in hindsight it all makes sense it always does keep going this is you balanced in your emotions, okay? This is you going through spiritual judgment. See, when you get called into spiritual court, there's no fear that comes over you because you've been doing the right thing. But everybody has to get a report card. Everybody has to have intercession by the Most High. 
okay? Let's see what's going on here, Archangel Michael. Please show me what it is I need to see with karma spinning the block, the ice on two wheels since 222. Why are they spinning the block? Because you're not entertaining them. You're not even looking in these people's direction. I can't even say that you give a damn at all. Energetically, let me check. Nope, Spirit says no, you don't give a damn. Confirmation for somebody. I don't believe you needed to come to this video to realize you no longer give a fuck. All right, let's move right along. Holy Spirit, Divine Ancestors of the Highest White Light, show us what it is that we need to see about karma spinning the block thrice. Two times, three times, four times since 222. Handing out karmic, karma, spiritual restraining orders. There's been the end of a cycle that can no longer be a part of any cycles. There are tests that you've passed over and over. I love to call it retrograde that you don't have to take anymore. You're moving forward with passion. This is you, Collective. Congratulations. You won yourself a new day. Oh, look what just fell out of my hand. By coincidence? Probably not. You are the highest in the room. You are the healer. You heal with your voice, your touch, your very essence, your presence. If you walk into a room and there's negative energy, you have the power to put that negative energy on a plate, eat it, and spit out star seeds. Spit out light. Like a human centrifuge. If you don't know what that is, Google. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Show me what it is I need to see. Yeah. You're in love with yourself. This is why love is coming in for you. Because you decided to love on yourself. You decided, I'm going to make a solid commitment with the Most High, and I'm going to stick to it. The moment you did, all hell broke loose. <laughs> you like, damn, all I did was say I was committing to celibacy. I'm going to commit to prayer and meditation every day, get to bed at a decent time so I can hear what Spirit is saying, and all hell broke loose. Why? Because you decided that you're going to answer the call. Many are called, few are chosen, but very few people answer the call, okay? Everybody can't go. I know we're supposed to love everybody, kumbaya, but everybody can't go. It's unfortunate. It's heartbreaking even, especially for true healers. It hurts when you come across people that just don't get it. And the spirit is saying, you got to go. I got another assignment for you. You can't stay here. Your work here is done and you see the person still looking like this because they didn't believe that God loved them. They didn't believe that they served a forgiving God. So they stayed in that karma and then they betrayed you. The one person that would give them everything doesn't make sense to me either. Such is life. It is the way that it goes. That's the way love goes. Show us what else we need to see. We got the lovers, six of wands, death, and the high priestess. Ooh, I like it. Give us more, Holy Spirit. Divine ancestors of the highest white light. Yeah. Some of these people. Oh, yeah. We got temperance. Now, normally in a normal spread, this would be energetically Sagittarius, which it can be. But we're not focused on signs right now. We're just focused on embodying the energy of the collective as a whole. You got the King of Cups. This represents masculine balance and emotions. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, of which any sign can embody. So please don't get caught up on signs. If this story resonates with you, and you're like, but I'm not an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You probably have it highly aspected in your chart or you're dealing with somebody that's that sign. But even if you don't, it's the energy that we're embodying, right? Yeah, I'm every woman. I'm every sign. I'm everything. I'm all time, everywhere. Because why? I, I'm I'm in the image of the most high. It's the God in me, right? Temperance and balance. This is what spirit is saying that you need to continue to show. I would look this word up just so you know the definition. We know, but sometimes there's power in knowing the actual definition. Temperance, balance, patience, 
brotherly kindness. Those are the virtues that we're supposed to live by, even when people think that we're evil. You know, they have a show coming out called The Reading. And it's about a reader who uh, is either taken over by some dark force. And I think it's very interesting the way a lot of this stuff is just being put out into the open now. How the devil really wants to um, devour the idea of what the divine beings look like. Right now, I'm not here to say that it's not realistic and that you can't be possessed by something. At the same time, I just felt like it was really instilling a lot of fear. I won't be watching. I can predict the movie. When you when you re rise to a certain level, and it, again, this is not to boast. It wasn't easy getting to this level. You know what I mean? When you get to a certain level, there's certain movies you won't watch. There's certain things you don't want going into your eye gates. There's certain things you won't listen to that you don't want going into your ear gates. How else do you think these spirits get into your body? So if I'm watching pornography all day and masturbating all day, then how do I come together with the divine being in real life? In the physical, in real life, right? Because there's nothing in the virtual world that tells me that I need to be emotionally connected right we'll go deeper when we get into the group okay these are your enemies this is how they feel about the plans that they keep trying to do again some of them are sending mental conflict spells chaos spells illusion spells this is an illusion this is an illusion this is not real. Fear is the evidence of things appearing real. That is the acronym for F-E-A-R. Some of you know that, some of you don't. For the ones that do know, reach out, tell somebody who doesn't know. That's the best way to pay back the collective is to go forth and duplicate the work. If we all are doing that and we're paying it forward and we help other people, you know, I've had people tell me, oh, my God, what do I owe you? I don't have any money. I said, go do what I did for you for somebody else. <laughs> I work for the most high. I work for God, like for real. I really do. I really do. And I'm serious about my work. What did Erica Badu say? I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. I'm sensitive about my work. Two of Pentacles. This also represents that 888 you could be seeing too if you turn that to the side. Gemini energy, Mercury, retro, great energy. What goes around comes around. These cycles and these tests will continue to go round and around as karma spins the block on two wheels. Okay? See that infinity sign above that head of that magician? See that? Why? What goes around comes around. As above, so below. Spirit is always talking. This is why we understand peace be still. Because if you're in chaos and you're fighting with such and such and so and so and them over there and what they said and paying attention to them, spirit could have sent you, spirit could have sent you a sign. Do 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 and you missed it because you were like this. And the person that still was like, Did you see that butterfly? Did you see that 888-111-444? Huh? What? Because you're on the phone arguing with so-and-so. Same person you've been arguing with for years. What does the next two years look like? What does the next five years look like? What does it look like? More arguing? How long are you going to give yourself before you say enough? Before you stop answering those text messages? Before you stop checking that social media? Before you stop caring about what the friends you had in common with the ex has to say about you, him, shim, them, it, 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 it. You got a life to live. See that infinity symbol above her head? <laughs> right. See the moon cycle circling that high priestess?
What are you doing to validate your existence here on this earth? Now we're vibrating high. We're doing exactly what we're supposed to do. All right? Yeah, today I'm going to slow it down. You probably feel I'm a little melancholy. I am. You know why? Because I already saw what's about to happen. And I feel sad still for people that just won't get it. Even though God is taking these people out to clear our paths continuously, constantly, karma spinning the block. It's hard to watch people in this. Now, when you were in this, let me tell you how toxic these people are. They were celebrating. They wanted to win at all cost. Okay? I don't understand the type of spirit that gets joy from seeing people down. I hate evil just like my father in heaven hates evil, but I'm about my father. I'm about my father. I'm about my mother's work. Be about your father's work. This is their energy. It's hard to watch. This is why. If I sound like I'm mourning, I am because I saw clearly what's about to come to these people. God is always speaking. The four of pentacles. Four is half of eight. Infinity. Don't those look like number eights there? <laughs> Doesn't that look like an eight? It's sad what's about to happen. Because it didn't have to happen like that. It really did not have to happen like that. And this is the inevitable truth. It's a day of mourning for Karmicville. It really is. It really is. I'm serious. I'm not even kidding. Justice is here. Your ancestors are present. They're ever fighting for you on so many levels you couldn't even imagine. If you could see the war, and some of you can, instinctually feel it. This is you going and being obedient when people told you that it was foolish to leave the job that was driving you crazy and sucking the very life out of you and you left with stomach ulcers because everybody wanted to be a chief and not enough Indians in the job that you worked at because you were chosen. Something about your presence just bothered them. This is you. People told you you're a fool to leave that job paying you $30 an hour. And you're like, but this is, I'm not happy. I'm stressed out. I know God got something for me. I don't know what it is. You said, call me a fool, but I'm going to take a leap of faith. And you did. You followed your intuition. You manifested a new life. You are victorious. You will continue to be victorious. We are victorious. We will continue to be victorious. We are prosperous. We need this money because we have children to save. We need this money because we have nonprofit organizations to to put children's names in. I heard spirits say, buy land, own it, own the airspace, plant a garden, get ready because the world is about to go through something that is going to uh, bring everybody down to their humble knees, okay? Justice is here, Mayat is in the mother freaking building and I'm gonna get out of her way because she got everybody's Akashic records in her hand. You have equal give and take coming in nice and smooth, like a smooth groove. You know what it do? The day after two, two, two. That's just the way it goes. The moon cycle. Stay in alignment with your emotions. Research, study, understand the moon. Pull your good energy from the moon. Okay? You are the queen of pentacles. A masculine can embody this energy or a feminine can embody this inner God. We are embodying this inner G. We're not playing. It's a time to play. It's a time not to play. It's a time to live and it's a time to die. It's a time to go to war and it's a time for peace. But the battle's already been won. It's written. So you have people spinning their wheels. 
karmics in Karmicville going crazy as karma is spinning the block, whooping their ass, doing her due diligence. Yeah. This is what you got going on. Spirit says, what I'm saying is the truth. Show me what else I need to see. Divine ancestors of the highest white light for the collective. Why is karma spinning the block? I know that's a rhetorical question, but spirit, entertain us if you will. Why is karma spinning the block, the ice, on two wheels since 222? Two, two. And now we're on 222. Two. Three, two, zero, two, three. You better pay attention to these synchronicities. Nothing is by coincidence. We're living in the future. The spells have been broken. The chains have been cut. The chariot is a representation of you moving forward. Fire and desire illuminating the darkness with your light. Archangel Michael, please grace us with your wonderful presence. Thank you, Most High, for giving us Archangel Michael. Thank you for giving us Archangel Raphael. Thank you. Yeah. 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 My divine masculines, you're coming up as a king, be it a water sign, fire sign, earth sign. You're embodying passion and fire. You never have to settle for less. You don't have to chase no woman. And women, you do not have to chase. Not a real king. You can chase a boy. But you're smarter than that. So we're, we're going to get out of remedial. We're going we're gonna to get out of kindergarten spirituality. And we're going to graduate today. Okay? I know we're smarter than that. Because when you get to this level and you come across somebody that wants to jeopardize your peace, you're like, oh, hell, da, hell, da, 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 da. no, you don't. <laughs> not after what I had to go through to get to this. I dare you to sit down with any high priestess and listen to her story. I dare you to sit down with real high priestesses and real empresses and them tell you their story. You're going to be like, damn, really? Yeah, yeah. We guided by spirit. Some of us left everything behind. The cars, the money, the cash, the rings, the house, the car. What profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his mother freaking soul that's a bad deal if you still doing that let me know how that turns out if you survive it <laughs> you better be smart about it you better have a head over heart decision you can have great intentions high priestess and empresses for everybody to go with you but some people have to be casualties of war Ooh, i felt that in my bones why because look what's at the bottom of my deck Gabriel's coming with all the judgment angels. Oh, there's more than one. Some of some of them names, we don't even know. But they're there. They're on assignment. They know the time. They know what it is. And there are things that will come to pass. <laughs> and one thing that will come to pass is the end of a dark era. The end of manipulation. The end of the narcissist. The end of the sociopathic, demonic, evil, dark uncontrollable, undeniable Lucifer and Satan and the people that have attached themselves to him, it, shim, her, over there. See, everybody thinks that the devil is some ugly looking little thing with a pitchfork. No, that's what they tell you. That could be possible. There could be a, a form of the devil that's in that form. I'm not going to say that because anything is possible. But the devil is your supervisor at work. The devil is the co-worker at work that talks about you and all you do is sit there and do your job. The devil is the neighbor that is always watching you, talking about you, gossiping about you, and all you do is say hi and good morning. The devil is the family member that says, oh, you demonic, what you doing is demonic. That's not of God, that's the devil. That's how the devil comes. In Islam, they call it El Waswas. The spirit of Lucifer whispers into the hearts of men. He's not loud. He's not really belligerent. Not most times. He whispers, you can't do that. That's not going to work. You're not that pretty. You're not small enough. You got to be small enough. You got to be this. You got to be that. That's a lie. That's a lie. The devil is a liar. How many people you know 
who lack conscience will lie to themselves. They look you right in the face and lie. And you know it's a lie. You the high priestess. You like, boy, girl, if you don't get out my face with this lie. Men who lack conscience will even lie to themselves. So what makes you think that if they don't, if they lie to you, that they won't lie to God? Sounds a little demonic to me. That's in Lauren Hill's song. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Moving right along, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Show me what else I need to see for the collective as karma spins the mother <laughs> freaking block. Yeah. Hi, karma. Hi, spiritual protection. Hey. How you doing? How you been? You been spinning a block. Thank you. Thank you. Because you see, not only does she have that scale in her hand, giving out karma fair and just, she also has a weapon in her left hand. Huh? Her left, your right. See that? She's spinning the block and she's chopping off heads because you're chosen by God. The higher up says that you deserve everything that's good. And you weep and you cry because you know that Karmicville is going through karmic hell. And as much as we thought we wanted to see this day, it's still a very sad existence. Now, I want to address something here just for a moment. There was somebody in the comments that um, said, well, you know, I we're supposed to pray for everybody. And I said, God, help me that I can be patient with this person, wherever they're at on their spiritual illusion or evolution. I'm not the one to judge. But to me, it was um, very premature. I didn't feel as though it was coming from a genuine place. I felt as though it was somebody that just wanted to come in and kind of, ah, ah, you know, the holier than thou, the self-righteous. Let me tell you something. It says in the word, lay hands suddenly on nobody. Why? Because energy doesn't die, it transfers. So when you get them good old church folks or good old Muslim folks, I don't care what it is. The devil comes in all groups, shapes, sizes, and different times and lands and languages and all that. This is why you have to have discernment. When you get them people that say, I want to pray for you. Give me your hands. It says suddenly lay hands on nobody. Why? Because them demons can transfer to you. You don't know what that person is attached to. This is why people have to be mindful of the practitioners that they approach. The people you line yourselves with. You don't know the karma that's behind them. You don't know what deities they're lined up with. You don't know who's praying for you. You have to be very, very mindful of that. This is why I don't pray for everybody. Because I'm going to tell you something. I got a lot of prayer requests. And some of them candles turn black. You think I'm lying? Let me show you. This is my fourth black candle. Can y'all see that? And this is for people that were like, pray for me. My spirit guides woke me up in the middle of the night and was like, uh-uh. Your intentions are good, but you don't know what these people have done. Why? Because Karmicville and Karmic Hill, they now have to be your footstool. They now have to come to you, a light worker, to try to break off some of these curses. And spirit is like, no, don't. But, but you said pray for our enemy. Yeah, it was a time to pray for your enemy. That time is up. This is why you have to know the time. You can get somebody to come tell you, I need a cleansing. And they committed a murder by witchcraft. No face, no case. You know how many people have died due to witchcraft? And then here you are taking your star seed energy. Sometimes you got to pray about what you need to pray about. Sometimes you got to pray about who you need to pray for. Oh, I, I need somebody to help me. You know what? Give me a minute. Let me pray about that. I got somebody right now. I got clients outside of YouTube. They're offering me a whole bunch of money. Oh, well, I'll pay for an extra hour. No, you know why? Because every time I talk to that person, I can feel a succubus and incubus spirit upon this person. And they've done a lot of black witchcraft. And now you want to run to me to help you take something off of you when you, when you attacked a chosen one? 
and karma's out here spinning the mother freaking block with infinite gas to keep hitting the block. Karma's plugged into the divine. This is inexhaustible energy spinning the block. Are you crazy? Huh? Huh? Don't you know that lightning strikes? And if you're standing next to somebody that's going through karma, oh, well, I was just trying to help them. Okay. Oh, you got a savior's complex, but you can't save yourself. Self-preservation. This is why spirit says, let me guide you. I will guide your steps. So when I saw that comment, I immediately got patient. I felt what spirit was telling me was going on here. I said, oh, you know, this is a self-righteous energy. This is a spirit of confusion. Because out of a hundred comments, there was one. <laughs> you do the math, right? You go to school and all the students in the class fail. Who you think they're going to look at? The teacher? Yeah, because everybody can't be failing. Okay, that might have been too deep. But let me bring it back to the center of what it is I'm talking about. You're not supposed to pray for everybody. That time has come and gone. That time is up. Now you have to pray for one another because together we're a big ball of mother freaking light. Don't let them think and tell you otherwise. They'll keep you in a slave's mentality. Have you praying for somebody that's beating you down? That time is over. The spell has been broken. You're not a slave. You're a master. Don't be a slave to your enemy. Yes, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Because they're being controlled by forces that they've made a, a blood contracts with, they're in alignment with, that they can't get out of. Some of them, their spirits are nowhere to be found. You praying for a demon? Maybe I should put it that way. Pray for everybody. Okay. I ain't never seen nobody pray for the devil. What you praying for? The devil got a job to do and so do you. I don't question the most high as to why. I just do my job. Okay. Judgments here. Didn't I tell you? Spirit is like, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Karma didn't hit the block. Thrice, thrice, twice, three times. On two wheels since two, two, two. Now it's two, 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 three. The synchronicities. Everything in divine order. Why? Because we serve a meticulous God. We serve a God of order. Get your life in order. You're going to see that the world is going to have to give you what it is you need. You're going to start to see Oh, we got free food. Anybody that needs free food stamps? Anybody? Why? Because we're in a country that's under judgment. Built on the backs and the blood and sweat and tears of your divine ancestors. Not love to make this a black and white thing. But at this point, we're so intermingled. Our bloodlines are so crossed up that it ain't even about that. It's a humanity issue. We're out of that cycle. We're out of that cycle. You know why? Because the Caucasian woman has a black son. You better wake up or go back to sleep. And I don't even think going back to sleep is an option. Not for me, it isn't. Show me what else I need to see, Holy Spirit, for the collective. For the collective, huh? Listen, for some reason, these karmics need you to know that they're in deep depression, crying tears, begging and crying out, the Most High has turned a deaf ear. Because you have a new beginning. That they didn't want you to have. That they were wishing and praying. You were submitting your prayers to the Most High. Search me God. Help me if there's anything in me that you don't like. Make me more like you. So that when people look at me they see you. They see your virtues. Help me. You know, I got a problem with this. I'm going to fast over it. I'm going to pray about it. And you were quiet about it. You were silent. There were things that you knew that you couldn't tell anybody else because why? You're the high priestess. You're the keeper of the secrets. Now, those were your prayers. This was theirs. Oh, I can't stand her. I hope she fell. I want her beauty. Uh, giving you the evil. I hope she died. 
two different two different prayers. <laughs> two as above, so below. They're getting back what they put out. Why? Because the scales have to be balanced. My yacht keeps spinning the block. And with my yacht, don't get it confused. She's not alone. She got war angels, judgment angels, recording angels, angels that's pulling up records. Uh, pull up 2022 and show me when they did that sacrifice with that goat over in Nigeria to kill this divine being. Every single nook and cranny <laughs> is being illuminated. Every single nook and cranny is being illuminated. Okay, so I love y'all. This is your daily message. Okay, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. This is a time of mourning. Okay, it's a time for death and there's a time for life. There's a time to be born and there's a time to die. And unfortunately, it's going to still be a sad day because you're a compassionate person. Even when you get wind of your enemy, going through whatever karma is serving them, it's going to make you feel a certain way. Spirit is saying, pay it no mind. You're so compassionate. You're so loving that you're going to drop a tear over people that try to kill you because you didn't let things change your heart. This, this is where they wanted you, in a coffin, dead. They wanted you dead. They did death spells. Okay, they petitioned Santa Muerta. <laughs> right, they wanted you dead, and now that you have to sit at their funeral, you're crying for them. Why? Because love is what you do. You're like, Am I crazy? Am I crazy that I'm crying? No, you're crying because that was a soul lost. That's why you're crying because. You really tried. You was on assignment. You got a whole list of people that you have to help. All of them won't wake up. One day I'm going to tell you all about my life. But now is not the time. I'll put it in a book. And you know what? I'm going to give a lot of free copies away. I'm going to sell books for a dollar. Yeah, because I want to make sure everybody gets it. And I'm going to tell the truth, the whole truth, but nothing but the truth. And people are going to say, did that really happen? Absolutely. Because I'm going to tell you something. When I started my spiritual awakening, I was like, oh my God, what is going on? I saw demons. I saw forces. I saw shadows. I, my ears were ringing. I thought I was dying. I was. I was going through a rebirth. And it was coming so fast that I, when, when God finally delivered me out of some stuff that was supposed to kill me, from lovers that were planted in my life by the forces of darkness. You know what God told me? Go forth and tell them what I did for you. I'm like, ain't no, I'm arguing with God. Ain't nobody gonna believe this. They gonna think I'm crazy. They gonna test me to see if I'm on drugs. <laughs> now I don't give a damn. We had that conversation back and forth. I said, Lord, if this be my cup, let it be my cup. Are you sure you want me in this little bitty room, in this little tiny house to be all over the world? God is like, yes, you. I'm like, oh, my God, I need good people on my path. Send my soul tribe because I can't. I know it's a narrow path, but I can't do this by myself. Yeah. Your enemy is now in the energy that they wanted to project onto you and that they're still projecting onto you. Every time they do that, they get you blessed. Every time. So I'm going to tell you something. I love you for free. I promise to God that I do. Wherever you're at on the planet, I hope this message reaches you. Until the next video, peace be with you.